Hello there. Welcome to Just the Discs. We talk about Blu-rays here. My name's Brian, and I have what has become a really nice regular tradition for the show. Uh, returning guest, Justin Liberty from uh, Vinegar Syndrome and OCN. Justin, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure, sir. And we are talking about the halfway to Black Friday sale. Really big deal. Vinegar Syndrome and OCN fans. Can you just explain what the sale is and what's been announced already in terms of um, what's coming? Yeah, so uh, the sale is, you know, our, our, we have two big sales each year. One of them is Black Friday uh, in November, which falls, you know, around Black Friday for everybody. <laughs> and then we do uh, we do halfway to Black Friday, which is kind of the, the midpoint uh, until we get to Black Friday itself. But it's not a smaller sale than a Black Friday. It's, it's still the, the same type of sale, um, 50% off um, everything, you know, in our, our back catalog. And that'll be everything um, prior to January. So there's hundreds and hundreds of releases uh, between Vinegar Syndrome and the, the OCN partner labels. So there's kind of an embarrassment of, uh, of titles available that will be on sale. And then everything we've released this year up until now will still be available to purchase. It just won't be um, heavily discounted like the, uh, the sale titles will be. And then we also release a bunch of, of new titles every year to coincide, you know, with both of these sales. And this year we announced uh, Showgirls in 4K, which is very exciting. Um, I love Showgirls. I know there's uh, other people out there that love Showgirls, and I know there's a lot of people out there who hate Showgirls, but, <laughs> um, you know, I guess <laughs> that's hey, their I, prerogative. I, I ordered it. it. I ordered it. I'm excited. You know, lots of new extras I saw. Elijah Drenner, I know, worked on some of it, as far as mm -hmm. I could tell. Very cool. Yeah. It's, I think it's going to be a really exciting package for people. Um, maybe it'll even turn some non-fans into fans, but you know, you can only do so much <laughs> to, to, to please everybody. Um, and then we also announced 4K for Blade in the Dark, the uh, Lamberto Bava, like, you know, very gory horror movie from Italy. Um, that's also something that I think there's people on both sides there. People love it. People might not like it that much, but I think uh, our presentation of it is going to be really exciting. There's a longer cut. There's a ton of extras. I don't know if you saw the the package of that that we hinted at in one of our newsletters, where it's it's like a new case and it shows the hand being cut in half. And I thought yeah. that's it's like really really gross, but it's also uh, very <laughs> fitting for for that movie. Yeah, and, and also he's just a great visual filmmaker. So 4K, beautiful. I can't wait. Yeah, and then we announced um, two other releases for for that slate which was um the boogeyman which is also uh, a 4k and another uh, european horror movie i think people like that movie you know it was it was one of the video nasties it's got a reputation that precedes it um i think that's one that a lot of genre fans and a lot of vinegar syndrome fans will be really excited about and then we have a collection of spanish horror films um which I would like to hype, but I have not seen them. <laughs> so oh, cool. I'm, All right. I'm about uh, in the same boat as most people, I, I think, uh, on those films. I'm really eager to check them out myself, but I have not seen them. Um, so you should buy them anyway. But yeah. I, can't, I can't vouch for uh, what they are or what they, uh, they may offer to people. Um, and then, you know, as, as always, we have a bunch of secrets that we're not revealing yet. There'll be a couple of VSA releases. There's a, another VSL release. Um, you know, we nice. launched the VSL line this year, which I think has been met with a lot of excitement and maybe even more so than we had expected. Um, I'm really excited about VSL. I love the idea of us having this, you know, kind of space for things that are off the beaten path for Vinegar Syndrome and that we, you know, we brought out uh, Flesh and Fantasy, The Cat Creeps, and just kind of, you know, the, the films that we brought out were, you know, these older black and white films and, they're films that people don't think of when they think of vinegar syndrome. You know, they might think of other labels um, that do that type of thing more traditionally, but we also love films like that. <laughs> so it made sense for us to kind of find a way to be able to represent those within our brand. And this VSL release in the sale is going to be really, really exciting. Um, it's, I, I think that it's like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Showgirls fanboy. <laughs> so uh, Showgirls is, is like the crown jewel for me, but I think the, the thing I'm second most excited about is what this VSL release is. Ooh. And uh, 
Obviously, I can't say anything else. But no, 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 that's fine. But but I will say I haven't talked to you directly about VSL because it's something that's come up since the last time we spoke. And I got to say, I'm a big fan of that line so far. I really dug Flesh and Fantasy was a killer way to start um, a movie I was aware of, but I'd never seen and a great anthology. I don't think that's going to be on sale, but I but I think it's one that I would highly recommend people check out. And if you're excited about another VSL now, can you say and maybe it's not something you can talk about, but in terms of VSL, Vinegar Syndrome Labs, is that a line that's going to continue to be more in the classic era, or is that just what we've seen so far and it may expand beyond that? It may expand beyond that. Okay, that's um, interesting. Good to know. Yeah, Good to know. I think, um, you know, like we've shown with our other lines, we don't really pigeonhole ourselves all that well. You know, yeah. we kind of <laughs> like to keep things a little bit more broad. And, sure. Um, so just... You know, like we're all, I, I know you and me, especially, we're very malleable with our yes, taste. Yes, absolutely. And there's no, like, I've never loved having restrictions. I like approaching cinema as like this open thing that, you know, you can kind of pull from different eras and different genres and different countries and have a harmony to it that you might not be able to do um, if you were, you know, being a lot more strident and saying like, this thing has to exist here and these are all the rules of this thing to me that's not fun no. <laughs> i don't i don't find that enjoyable um personally or professionally so yeah vsl is gonna be vsl and that's I great think people will you know be along for the ride i think it'll always make sense as to why the releases are there and not somewhere else but there won't necessarily be like a one size fits all as to to what it ultimately is that's cool. I mean, like I now I can't wait for this. I missed that a new VSL was coming, and that to be honest, like that's been the thing for me to see the new VSL announcements every time. I'm like, ooh, what is it? You know, cat creeps. Never seen it. Don't know it. Uh, but, you know, ordered it right away. And you said the response has been pretty good for this. Yeah, the response has been great. Like I think wonderful. You know, it's people are buying them, and I think cat creeps especially is one that people seem to really have taken a liking to. Nice. So I'm I'm really excited that you know people are as into it as they are. And if, if you missed that the the VSL is coming, so our last the newsletter we had just sent out um, also says that that VSL is a four film collection. Yeah. Shoot. So yeah. I don't, okay. Maybe that's a little too much. <laughs> no, that's that's amazing. That is fantastic. I wow. I'm very excited. Four film collection. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be, that and, yeah, they're all, they're all great. It's just, it, it's such a nice package um, oh, man. I can't wait for, for people to see what it is. So yeah, there's the VSL, there's a couple new VSAs, there's a couple other secret titles. Um, and then outside of all the secrets, we got something we did announce um, that isn't necessarily part of the sale, but is on sale right now is our most recent VSP, which is, you know, our line for, I guess what you can call new movies, um, mm -hmm. you know, vinegar syndrome. I think if we're uh, related to anything, it's that you know we we work in older films, um, typically you know from the the late sixties through the nineties, and VSP is really our area for for newer films, um, including New York Ninja, which of course was put together from uh, old footage, but is a, a new release outside of that. So our most recent VSP that we just announced is uh, Sick of Myself which is this amazing, you know, dark comedy, body horror movie, satire that uh, is from Norway. And it's just, yeah, it's really gross and it's really <laughs> funny and I can't recommend it enough. So I hope people take a chance on that. Um, I know some, some of our fans definitely veer more towards older titles, but I think, you know, with VSP, we're kind of saying like, hey, these are new movies that we really care about and we think you're gonna like and sick of myself is one I will go to bat to like all day. Great. No, that's one I don't know. And so you've got me on the hook for that one. Very cool. Very cool. Um, well, that's awesome. It sounds like an amazing package just in and of itself. That's just the titles that are coming that are new. Uh, but in terms of the sale, I always love to go to you for recommendations for stuff that has become available. And maybe you'll go beyond this too, but has become available since the last sale. Because I think that's what a lot of people are like, oh, what can I now get that I couldn't get during the last sale. So I know you have some recommendations. I have some I can drop in here occasionally, but always want to hear what you recommend, sir. So fire away. 
Yeah, um, you know, I'll, I'll start with vinegar syndrome uh, just because it's it's more manageable. <laughs> the partner <laughs> labels have become like a, a behemoth, so I want to yeah. make sure I give them them all their their due. But uh, on the vinegar syndrome side, I really love Freeway. Uh, Freeway will be part of the sale this year. 4K, and baby. I think, I think that's a movie that you know, title alone, people already are familiar with, but. You know, super crazy 90s crime movie, uh, really violent, just dialogue is kind of, <laughs> you know, there's things in that movie that like, I don't think you can say out loud now. I think if you did, you'd, you know, be immediately canceled <laughs> if you if you quoted that movie in public. But yeah, I love Freeway. Um, I think the 4K looks great. I think it's just a really fun movie to kind of put on with people, the right people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the sequel is great too, which won't be on sale, but you know, if you if you want to pick up both, but yeah, the, the first one will be on sale, and if it's a movie people haven't seen, I highly recommend taking yeah. a chance. Crazy that it's loosely a uh, an adaptation of Little Red Riding Hood, mm -hmm. and if you watch the movie, you will get that. But it is a bizarre one for sure. Very nice. And, uh, I also really love uh, Burning Paradise, which I've been you know very personally invested in in our Hong Kong releases, and Burning Paradise is one that. I think just kind of defies any easy categorization. I really like movies that once I watch them, like, I don't know what this is. Like, even after watching it, like, I don't know how to tell people, like, you know, what is Burning Paradise? Like, it's kind of like a Indiana Jones fantasy horror movie. Like, I don't really know wow. what to tell people that movie is, but it's like an adventure movie that's super gory. Um, and I think it, it like checks all the boxes that I want when I'm watching like a, a Hong Kong genre film. And yeah, it's, I think it looks great and it's just a really fun movie. Very nice. That one I haven't watched yet, but I, I have it. And uh, the Indiana Jones cell is a good cell. So I'm, I'm on board. I also, I always like to give um, like a recommendation for a recent adult title. I know there's a lot of fans that don't um, gravitate towards those necessarily, but I do think that they offer something that, you know, you can't really get anywhere else. And um, Pandora's Mirror is one we put out last year that I really like. It's kind of mystical, you know. It's this, it's like a almost like a haunted mirror in a way. Um, and you're going back and seeing things from like this historical point of view through this kind of fantastical mirror. Um, and I don't know. I think it's like a really clever conceit, and the performers are all really invested in it. I think it looks beautiful. Um, yeah, I think it's just like a really really great example of what those movies can be. And if people are looking for a newer one to kind of take a chance on and get more uh, well-versed in, into those films, I think Pandora's Mirror is a really good place to start. Cool. Um, and then my my last uh, recommendation for like new titles that will be on sale is a movie I absolutely love. Uh, and that's Worth Keeter's Unmasking the Idol, which is just, you know, kind of talking about Indiana Jones before. It's almost another kind of like Indiana Jones, like James Bond, but with martial arts and a baboon and I don't, it's another movie that like, there's no easy categorization. It's like a PG rated spy movie with martial arts and a monkey. Like it's just in a category of its own. Um, and I think it's the kind of thing like people might be confused by <laughs> when they, when they look it up and like see what its plot is. And uh, I think it just, I think it's a, it's a very magical experience, especially if you, if you ever get to see it in a theater, um, it just plays great with a crowd, but it oh, also that. plays great at home. So yeah, I'll right. second, I'll second that. That's actually one of my favorite VSAs in recent memory. Um, and I know you probably can't say anything, but there is obviously a sequel to this film. I don't know where the rights lie. Is there any chance you can hint at a potential release of that film or no? I mean, I would love for it to happen, but okay, yeah. okay, we'll see. What happens. Outside All of right. that, I don't. Okay, yeah, gotcha. I don't have anything else. But yeah, sure, I, sure. I also love the sequel. Um, I think sequel's it's great. great. Yeah, yeah, but this is a really cool one. Yeah, that's that is again, like you say, hard to categorize, but a really fun to watch and just doing its own thing. Just I really love that about it. It's just kind of like, yep, this is an Indiana Jones sort of thing we're doing, but it's funnier and cheekier in a way and martial arts like you said is more part of it i'm a big fan i'm a big fan Very it's also nice. one of the rare vinegar syndrome titles that is like at least semi-appropriate to watch with your family <laughs> um, and i always like you know having that in there somewhere like i i love cloak and dagger oh um, yeah 
that's of course one it's also extremely mean now <laughs> when you when you go back and watch cloak and dagger it's like a really mean movie yeah like, unmasking the idol isn't so it might be one of those where it like might even be more appropriate than something like cloak and dagger because it's just it's just a genuinely like a fun movie and it doesn't really have much in it that could be offensive so you know we have it all we have adult films and family films and i think there's something for everybody um, speaking of cloak and dagger, that's still available and still for sale, uh, half price mm -hmm. on this one. Great. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that absolutely. to me is one of the crown jewels of the, the VSU line. I, I was so, I I've spoke, I've spoken its praises before, but I can't emphasize enough. If you don't have that cloak and dagger, you're out of your mind and you need to pick it up because it's a fantastic package, incredible presentation and extras commentary with Joe Lynch uh, and Tom Holland and really, really good stuff. So um, big, big fan of that. Actually, I kind of love the idea of a cloak and dagger unmasking the idol double, even though they're <laughs> kind of different, but they're both adventure-y sort of. Anyway, yeah, they kind of have like an espionage angle to them. Sure, yeah, something like that. Some connective tissue, but yeah, very cool stuff uh, in my unmasking the idol. Um, so that's it for your VS recommendations? Um, for, for stuff that's going to be newly on sale. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Give Rex for things that are kind of back at all. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Do it. Let's hear. I know you've, well, we've talked about some of these before, but it's always a good time and you never know when somebody's watching one of these or hearing one of these for the mm -hmm. first time. So hit, hit us. Yeah. I mean, I always, people can go back to old episodes, but I, I always sing the praises of, um, my like top couple VS releases are the MMA and uh, welcome home brother Charles double. And then a woman's torment. Those are the two that I always like push people towards that I just like hold near and dear to me. Um, those, and I also love Putney's Rope. So these are ones that I think are kind of a little off the beaten path for most, um, especially newer uh, vinegar syndrome customers. And then um, I jotted down like a few here that you know I really like. Uh, Red Mob I think is just like absolutely crazy kind of unearthed action movie. Um, best friends is a really like downbeat drama that i think is you know it's a little it's advertised kind of like an exploitation movie but it really isn't it's definitely yeah. more of like a very downbeat 70s drama um it has like a whopper of an ending i think it's a really really great movie but it's yeah. also um i think a movie that if people go in blind they're going to be kind of like shook by it um but yeah i think it's just like an extremely good example of, of that type of movie making from that era yeah, I, I, I think I got that one. And I've probably told you this before. But I think I got it because of your praise for it initially. And another movie that there's not too many movies like it that mm -hmm. I've ever seen, you know, like because it, it does start as like a uh, two guys taking their gals on the road for a fun road trip. Oh, wait a minute. This is there's some other underlying tension here that's going to present itself. And it's fascinating. Really, really fascinating movie. I'm glad you keep bringing that one up. People got to see it. And then I'd also, uh, I really love Night Owl, which is, it's like great um, kind of lo-fi vampire movie. And I think it just does things with that genre and those conventions that are very different than uh, what we would expect. So I really like that movie. I think it also looks beautiful. Um, I also really like Blue Vengeance, which is another kind of genre amalgamation that can't fit into any box. I like, I really like these movies that, just are a bunch of different things at once and um aren't what you expect them to be so blue vengeance is another one cool. and then um alien private eye oh yeah yes. yeah I, I really like i, I Me like too. to admire the just the the gumption behind alien private eye yes it's very like you know it's it's a filmmaker who's just doing whatever he can with what he has and another movie like that is shot which i always bring up but oh, i really yeah. love these like kind of regional scrappy genre movies that like you know reach for the stars but they have like no money to work with um and i really love that i like like feeling that passion and i think you know alien private eye and shot kind of go hand in hand to me with these filmmakers having a vision and doing it no matter like what the odds against them are yeah it is am i wrong in remembering that alien private eye is kind of loosely maltese falcony in yeah, some ways yeah. okay okay but i'm not you should go in expecting that but just know when you're watching this wild crazy movie there is a little bit of that structure but yeah shot for me is a another one that i absolutely adore i call it the i guess it's like a it's not exactly a student film but like kind of the student film french connection made mm -hmm. in her you know champagne urbana illinois and god it's great i love that movie so much um I just want to bring up, you were mentioning regional, the um, Homegrown Horrors Volume 1, 
is a great set um, that I it's still on sale and I definitely recommend people snag it. Um, but the one real crown jewel for that one for me is um, Beyond Dreams Door. I just think is one of my favorite Vinegar Syndrome titles. Full stop. That I've that you guys have put out, but so you know low budget and scrappy and still manages to be uh, both entertaining, funny, creepy. All these things at once, and I just absolutely love it. So I got to recommend that when you're talking about regional scrappy filmmaking. Really good stuff. Yeah, I also love that one. I think it's really inventive. Yeah, for sure. So um, any other Vinegar Syndrome, or we move on to some OC in action? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I think that's that's enough for me on, on Vinegar Syndrome. I think the only Vinegar Syndrome-specific one that you didn't mention that I know you're a fan of, oh, yeah. um, uh, Voyage of the Rock Aliens, which mm -hmm. is just... Goofy, crazy musical with Pia Zadora and Craig Sheffer and aliens and it's nuts. Uh, but talk about a great movie to put on with some friends, um, even to just put on as in the background and see if you could catch people going like, what is that? You know, because <laughs> it's nuts, but it's so fun. And I love that you guys put out such a nice edition of it because I'd had like a German bootleg of it that was OK. But your version is by far the best one and really nice stuff. So that's my those are my two vinegar syndrome, but I have some more OCNs I can throw in as you go. Um, so hit me with some o OCN recommendations if you got them. Yeah. So, um, you know, kind of at the top of this, also a reminder that June is partners only month. Mm. So there, you know, there won't be anything vinegar syndrome on the website for, for June, but we will have some brand new partner label releases on June 1st. And then there will be every other partner label release will still be on the website. Um, they won't still be on sale after the sale, but they will be there. Um, should you miss anything or forget anything or, you know, want to pick up the new titles, they will be there. Um, but yeah, so the partner label uh, system keeps expanding. Every time we do one of these, mm -hmm. we have more labels. Um, so it's always kind of fun to do another one because we we grow every time. Yeah. Um, so the way I did it, I tried to be as fair as possible um, because I don't want anybody to get left out. Okay. So I picked a title per label. Oh my gosh. Rattle off. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but okay. I'm just going to go quickly through this and everybody can take notes if, if they want. Okay. But buy. now, so now these are on sale as of this sale. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. These are, these are all titles that are newly on sale. Yeah. Right. As of the sale. So um, dressed in blue from altered innocence. Okay. Just absolutely beautiful documentary. Um, Solomon King from Deaf Crocodile, just like love everything about that project. Um, Uncle Kent 2 from Factory 25, which is one of my favorite sequels of all time. Full stop. You don't need to see the first one. I, I was just going to say, two. that's what I yeah. keep hearing. Like, do, I keep asking, do I have to see Uncle Kent? No, you don't have to see it. Just see the second it's one. Like, okay. It's like the Matrix of Mumblecore movies. It's amazing. Oh, everything right, gotta, about it is incredible. Putting that um, on my list. Minefield from Canadian International, which was... A genre movie I had never heard about until they put it out, and I just really, really had a great time with it. Um, Distant from Big World Pictures, which is just like a, a very important uh, foreign film from the 2000s. It's just like a really, really beautiful movie. Um, I think it's the type of thing people would more likely associate with a label like Criterion or something, and we have it at OCN. I think it's a really, really great movie for people to check out. Um, Vortex from Gaspar Noe. Just heartbreaking, heavy, heavy movie. Not the type of thing people usually associate with him. Um, it's just a beautiful drama, shot in split screen. It's absolutely devastating. Dario Argento is in it, which is amazing. Um, I heard he's fantastic in it too. Elric can't yes, stop talking yeah. about how good he is. He's so good, but it's like, it really is devastating. <laughs> like it's, I've, I've seen it three times now and Oof. I'm like never watching it again. Oh, man. <laughs> like, everybody should watch it, but I'm done. Like, yeah, I got you. Know, you give any more of my life to that movie gotcha um, what's up connection from connie which was one of my favorite discoveries of uh new things that i saw last year mm -hmm. it just has an energy to it that's like unmatched um really really great movie uh fair game from dark star which is an australian exploitation movie uh really grimy just like down and dirty australian exploitation filmmaking Hearts Beat Loud from Gun Carter and Sky, which is the yeah. opposite of Down and Dirty. <laughs> That's just like a really, yeah, just totally sweet movie. I'm not a dad, but I feel like if I was a dad, it would touch me even more. Yeah, um, and and I can vouch for that because it's on my stack and it is a truly sweet father-daughter movie 
Um, I love it. Yeah. Re- great music. You know, it's about a father and daughter that basically start a band. Um, but he owns a record shop and there's other complications dramatically, but it is just a really sweet movie. I really love it. So I'm with you on that one. hundred percent. Yeah. It's the type of thing. Like, I feel like a lot of, you know, vinegar syndrome fans or genre movie fans in, in general kind of overlook films like that a lot of the time. And I just think something about having like that kind of human storytelling is really important. And I think it's a good palate cleanser. <laughs> like, I think it's yes. nice to go from all of this other stuff we watch and just watch something that's like a slice of life and just see these people interact. And I think it's just like kind of a nice gap <laughs> in, in whatever else we're watching. But yeah, I think it's just a genuinely good movie. Absolutely. Um, Lux Eterna, picking back up with Gaspar Noe. Another one that's, you know, using split screens a lot, a lot of flashing lights. So if you're photosensitive, steer clear. Um, but yeah, just visual sensory overload. Uh, Final Flesh from Agfa, which is indescribable. Uh, I was going to say, try and describe it. it. I don't yeah. know how to. Uh, someone yeah. breastfeeds a steak in it. So I guess there's your description. I don't know. <laughs> That's about all you need. Yeah, it's one of the wilder things Agfa's done, and that's saying something because they've done some yeah. crazy stuff. That's a party movie. Like, that's the type of thing I want to have people over, put it on, and then the people who stay are my friends. And the people who <laughs> are just unfriending from all social media. Fair point. Um, Death Sember from Culture Shock. I'm not the biggest fan of anthology films or especially the ones where it's stringing together like you know 20 short films so this is the type of thing i went into with trepidation but i thought the majority of these were really good and um the ones that are really good are just like things i want to go back and rewatch, which is very rare for for things like this for me um there's a claymation one in here that just like made my jaw drop and is one of the crazier things i've seen in recent memory um, so yeah, highly recommend that. It's totally packed. It's a two disc set. There's so much content. Um, yeah, it's it's weird to recommend Christmas movies in <laughs> May, but um, if you get it now, you know you'll have it in the fall, and uh, nice. it'll be a nice thing to have. Um, KFC from Decanalog, which you know I think probably goes hand in hand with Final Flesh as one of the more indescribable uh, kind of disgusting things I've seen in a long time. Um, but yeah, I also think KFC is has a lot more nuance to it and just is actually is saying something that I think is really important. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very hard watch if you're not uh, on its wavelength. But I am. <laughs> I think there's other people out there who are. So I'm highly recommending KFC. Um, I'd watch it, you know, probably not on the same night as Hearts Beat Loud because that would be weird. But it's a, it's a very rewarding uh, experience. Did okay. you watch that? I didn't get a chance to watch that one yet, but I, I'm a big fan of Decanalog's output thus far, so it's on the top of my pile to watch. Yeah, I think you're going to have... It's also really short, so I think you're going to have a good time with it, but okay. it's also like a, it's not a big investment uh, time-wise. Excellent. Um, I really love the Dead Guy doc from Enjoy the Ride. It's a very you know niche market. It's you know Northeast hardcore documentary. The disc has like four hours of concert footage, so anybody who's a fan of that kind of music or that band in general, highly recommend picking it up. Um, I think it's just like a love letter to hardcore music in general. So highly recommend that. Um, Silvio from Music Box, which is just absurdist comedy, I think uh, at its best. And it's just, yeah, it's really eccentric. Great use of gorilla suits. I love gorilla suits. <laughs> like going back to schlock, like I just, Very nice. I really love, love a good gorilla suit. And Silvio is, is just like prime gorilla suit. So um, good stuff. The Good Book from Saturn's Core. I'm not a huge fan of um, SOV horror, but I really loved this one and I like it because it's also SOV sci-fi. Um, I really like seeing people do sci-fi on a budget and they had done one last year called No Resistance, which was my favorite Saturn's Core release at that time. And now this one's like right alongside that. So I really love this. I, I would like to see a lot more uh, shot on video sci-fi, I think seeing people try and build that those worlds with no money is really exciting kind of like alien private eye so yeah highly recommend uh the good book if you're into sov movies and even if you are not real quick uh jumping in on the um saturn's core one of my favorites is burglar from hell i've talked about it before (laughs) just nuts uh you described it really well in i think your letterbox review you were just talking about how it's like a 90s i mean i'm misquote you but it was like based something of like a 90s hangout movie within 
Like, how do you how do you describe this movie when you talk? It's almost about like it? it's almost like Kevin Smith made like an Evil Dead movie or something. There you go. That's what it kind of that's what you're getting at. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like a New Jersey slacker comedy, but like with yes. gore and horror in it. And yes, that, that fucking toilet scene is disgusting. Yes, it's very gross <laughs> and really funny and strange. And Frank the Tank, you will not forget soon. Yeah. Um, so highly recommend Burger from Hell if you haven't grabbed that. Yeah, my last one is um, one of our newer labels, uh, VHS Hit Fest, did a movie called Satan's Menagerie mm. that I think is like so fun. It's just another one where it's, you know, a filmmaker with a ton of passion, just putting everything they had into the frame, a lot of great monster effects, just like a genuinely good time. Um, and yeah, I can't recommend that one enough. It's got a ton of extras on it. And I'm really excited just with like what they have coming up in general. So yeah, highly recommend yeah, no, me too. I, I've talked to Dan on the show before. I like Dan a lot, and I'm excited that he's doing stuff. I think I've talked about corn shot the corn shocker before, <laughs> but it's just nuts, like backwoods eraser heady. I don't even know how to describe the corn shocker. Definitely a movie I had not heard of, and was Dan's first pick for the release for VHS Hit Fest, and uh, really stands out. Really, I mean, all that Satan's menagerie, everything he's doing is exciting to me because it's nothing i've ever heard of and it's all got a very interesting offbeat crazy low budget aesthetic but it really he's really taken he's really done some nice curating of the stuff that he's been encountering over the years collecting vhs and so between satan's menagerie and corn shucker i think you get a real nice representation of what he's doing and like you i i don't know what's coming obviously you do but um i just can't wait that's another label that every time he announces something new, I'm like, Oh, what is it? You know, uh, I got to check it out. So definitely keep an eye on, um, VHS hit fest if you can. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, that's all you got. Okay. That's all uh, I got on my end. I mean, there's so many more, but <laughs> no, no, there's, that's a great, the only one I'll throw in and I don't know, is in the soup going to make the cut for the yep. sale? Yeah. Okay. So this is from, uh, factory 25 and a really nice, um version of the alexander rockwell film from 92 i want to say uh with seymour cassell and steve buscemi and buscemi plays adolfo rollo who's a film <laughs> wannabe filmmaker who's written this epic script and he finds sort of a an oddball gangster type played by seymour mm -hmm. cassell who says he will fund the movie but then they just start hanging out and it's just a really neat you know indie from the 90s that i think has fallen off the radar a little bit. And this is like a criterion level. It's like new 4k restoration and Q and A's with Rockwell and a booklet with Q and a between Tarantino and Rockwell. And, and it's just a really neat little movie that I really like. And I, it's one of my, it's probably my favorite factory 25 release they put out. Um, and then one more that I want to talk about that isn't going to be on sale, but um, from enjoy the ride uh, media, the um, at the video store documentary, uh, this was done by uh, James Westby, filmmaker James Westby, and a really short, like, I want to say it's a right around 70 minutes and just very scrappy, shaggy, you know, has interviews with uh, Bill Hader, John Waters, Nicole Holof Center, Lance Bangs, Gus Van Sant, Thelma Schoonmaker, and more, a bunch of people from video stores, Matt Lynch and some other people from like Scarecrow and just video stores that are around the world, around the country. And just a really nice representation of the video store experience and why it was important and why we miss it in those places where you can't go to a video store still. Um, I just really was charmed by it. And again, I know it's not going to be on sale, but if you're already ordering stuff, you can make it part of the sale package and not have to pay for extra shipping. So at least you get that savings and it's not that expensive. It's actually as a title, I, I want to say it's cheaper than most. Um, yeah, so, so really great documentary, highly recommended. That's, that's the big one for me. Um, yeah, and it'll be on sale. Well, not on sale sale, but it'll still be sold in June is great. Our partners only month. So if you need to budget your, uh, your spending for the sale and then pick stuff up the following month, you, you can do that. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you, Justin, so much. I really appreciate you coming on, taking the time and going through all those recommendations from all the partner labels. Hugely appreciated. I know I was taking notes. Um, I have at least uh, five or six here that I, I'm going to have to look into during the sale, but I always love chatting with you about this stuff and uh, 
I hope people are as excited about this sale as I am. So thank you again, sir. Yeah, thank you as always for having me. My pleasure. Uh, okay, everybody, check out the sale. Uh, Justin, when is the sale from what day to what day? It's the 26th through the 29th. Great. So so keep an eye on Vinegar Syndrome's site during that time and uh, get yourself a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.